Ducks, what is the deal? So when I started looking at tool heads, it seemed like the EVA 2.0 maybe was the duck that a lot of people were talking about. Uh, this, I believe, is a 2.4. Pretty sure this is a 2.4 duct um, by EVA. This is a, or EVA. This is a pretty good duct. Uh, this one is kind of beat up. I think it was sagging here and I heated it with a lighter to, to bend this up. The heat was deforming it and it was sagging down so I would heat them up. And, and anyway, I, I believe the first EVA ducts didn't have the center. I'm not sure the whole history behind the, the EVA duct, but this is not a bad duct. Um, but as I was printing some benches, uh, the bow of the boat was always a problem. It would be sucked up and the, the shape, the shape of the bow here uh, was sucked in. And if you looked at a side view of it, you could see almost a straight angle on a lot of the faster ducks with the with the Eva and it just wasn't getting cooling here it just it just wouldn't cool it and so uh, then I came up with this idea to create this little duct here and um, I printed this out of PETG and I tried it and sure enough the bow of the benchy was solved however the stack was a mess so even though this cooled really well as it fanned out, this is my fanning duct, even though that fanned out and uh, cooled that bow, it just wouldn't work for the stack and even the columns of the benchy, they just didn't they just didn't work that well. But I thought, man, if I could just have this and this in the same duct, boy that would be really nice. So I come up with some other ducks. I got this little guy here. Is a, you know, by the way, I found out this the center duct doesn't do a whole lot. This this center duct here, it, it it's not that good. And I may have changed this one. I don't know if this is the standard. I may have modified that. I I don't remember. But that center one doesn't seem to work that well. So I made a duct like this, um, and it didn't work too good. It was okay. I made another one like this. It really didn't work that well. I made this one here for the 4028. And it actually works pretty decent. It's got a humongous intake. Um, and it aiming over to the sides here to try to get some of that layer cooling. This one actually works pretty good. It is a ginormous duct uh, in comparison to the EVA. It is just humongous. So I had actually been using this duct. The only problem with a big huge duct like this is that if you print something that doesn't need quite as much fan it's going to suffer on the low end. It, the holes are just too big. So if you run that fan at low percent, you just won't have you just won't have the volume coming out of these these ports consistently out of all four of them. So it's kind of a high speed kind of kind of duct. It's okay though. So then I came up with this duct, which is the octo duct. It has the three ovals on the inside, six total, and then two on the outside. Uh, this is on a 5015. It's not the greatest, you know, I've filed it and it doesn't fit exactly right, so I've got to mess with it. And at some point, I put a bird, I bird injected it here to get some colder air in there to try to help that. It works a little bit better, but, but not a whole lot. This is a 5015 uh, setup. Um, the duct is quite large on the body and this is a plenum style so the whole point of this duct is to fill it with air let it pressurize and then just let it bleed out these holes this is a really good duct this this has worked very well for me at low speed at high speed this duct works 
pretty decent. So after this duct, I tried to make one for the 4028 and I added two ports on the side here and they're just too big. Um, I did not simulate this when I made this particular one and had I had I done that I would have reduced these sizes to get the air out here better. This is there's too many orifices here for a 4028 and it just starves that fan. Um, it's not quite right. Uh, so this is for a 4028 and um, this is the same duct that's back here in the back. Uh, it has a pretty large hole here and has a pretty large back end but that 4028 just won't work unless it has a large a large feed down to that duct so and you know you, these these are just holes in here they're just 90 degree holes from the air path and you would think well that's got to suck I mean because the air has density and mass so it it wants to follow the path of least resistance and I I did try to to make uh, lofts inside here to make curves to direct these holes to the air and it actually resulted in less performance um, and these little fingers here are so big because you the more I tried to to make these smaller the worse the airflow was out of these holes it needed a large volume there so it could just feed off that plenum at least at least that's the theory I get from it smaller diameter was not better and even tapering the end, you would think, well, if I taper the end, then the airspeed will increase as it as it shrinks down like a garden hose. But that, in fact, uh, gave less air output than the bigger than the bigger body. So um, now I don't have I don't have uh, a duct here of my latest one, which let me see if I can move this uh, move this gantry so this particular duct has three orifices here on the side and they're rotated about 45 degrees from the center. So I've got 145 here and 145 here. And I'm hoping to get air to go this way, and air to come this way, and air to come this way. And these are primarily for layer cooling. That's what their intention is. And then the inside ones is for nozzle cooling. And these are at different angles. This one is a certain angle, and these outer ones are at certain angles. And if you don't get those angles right from my testing, uh, if this nozzle angle is pointed too down toward the plate, it doesn't cool as good as if it's aimed pretty much right at that nozzle tip. So that's aimed at the nozzle tip, and these are aimed on a more flatter plane um, to get the layers of the part. So, I mean, this is this is how the the benchy bows look and without these side ports this would have an indentation in it in this benchy. There would be an indentation there and it would it would be from lack of cooling. Uh, those are what those are doing there. So um, so that's that's the mess that I've created over I don't know over the last year or so of messing with ducks. Um, it's a sickness but not one that cannot be remedied. Thanks for watching.